This week, we highlight another life well lived. On December 16, 1944, the German military launched an attack on Allied forces in the Ardennes Forest along the border of Belgium and Luxembourg, beginning the longest and deadliest fight of World War II for the United States, known forever as the Battle of the Bulge. In more than a month of fighting, some 19,000 Americans were killed, with tens of thousands more injured, many of them cared for by a young army nurse from Connecticut named Muriel Phillips. Muriel became a registered nurse in 1942 and joined the Army Nurse Corps the next year, where she underwent combat training. Six weeks after D-Day, the 23-year-old found herself on a boat crossing the English Channel, weaving between downed ships and planes to arrive in Normandy, France, where she and her fellow nurses and doctors set up a field hospital in an apple orchard. As Muriel and her team moved into Belgium to treat the overwhelming stream of wounded men, the Nazis bombed their hospital in Liège for weeks. Because she was Jewish with a religious marking on her dog tag, Muriel feared for her fate if she were captured by the approaching Germans. But she stayed and did her job, even treating Nazi prisoners of war. After the Allies won the brutal Battle of the Bulge and then the war, Muriel completed her service in the army with the rank of first lieutenant. She married a Marine, her longtime late husband, Melvin Engelman. She started a nursery school and a conservation group, and in 2008, she wrote a memoir. In 2018, Muriel was awarded the French Legion of Honor, the highest order of merit given by the nation she helped to free from the grip of the Nazis. Lieutenant Muriel Engelman, an unsung American hero of World War II, died late last month in Laguna Niguel, California. She was 101 years old. Hey, thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Find your favorite recipes, celebrity interviews, uplifting stories, shop our favorite deals, and so much more with the Today app. Download it now.